Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine of Side Street Market, and today I have a Goodwill haul for you. Um, my Goodwill has picked up a bit. It's been getting some more stuff. People might be spring cleaning. I'm not sure, so I have some goodies for you today, and I'm excited, including a bag I have not opened yet. I think I actually have two bags I've not opened yet of um, figurines, so we'll get to go through those together, and that's pretty fun. So first up, let's see, where do I want to start? The first item I got is this lovely silver tray. I got it because look at the feet. I'm hoping you guys can see the detail on that. They're almost like little claw feet on it. And the emblem on the bottom is a rose, I believe. If you guys can see that right there. That's has the only marking on it. And I thought that this would be beautiful as a display piece for someone in the fall with maybe some gourds in it or something or decorated at Christmas with ornaments and like string lights hanging out of it. So this is a really beautiful find. It's got patina on the inside. It's probably a good, I'd say 12 inches across at least, maybe 13. So this is this was a beautiful piece and it was pretty reasonably priced, which surprised me. So I grabbed that for the upcoming holiday season. And then, you know I'm a sucker for home pieces. I'm a sucker for like those hand-painted ceramics from the 70s and 80s. Well, this is one of those. And sadly, it is missing its salt and pepper shakers. <clears throat> So this just has a symbol on the bottom, but this is a hand painted piece. And what this would have had was an egg on each side that was a salt and pepper shaker. And you put your napkins in the back. So even though it was missing the eggs, I thought someone who maybe had some clear shakers could still put clear shakers on there. Or if they had their own like little chicken shaker or something, you could still mix and match it. And that would be really cute. Really cute in a kitchen. My neighbor starting up a motorcycle. Sorry guys, it startled me. It's kind of echoey. So that will probably pop up in a live sale. And then I got some plates. Now these are souvenir trinket dishes and they're souvenirs of Aquarina, A-Q-U-A-R-E-N-A. And I need to figure out where this is, but they're marked hand painted, made in Japan or they might be Taiwan. No, made in Japan by Nyko. So the first one says, oh, hello dear, did you miss your train? So a little tongue in cheek there. She's in her nighty, and the other dude's hiding behind the lampshade and her husband walks in. So that was the one that was on top and these were saran wrapped together. So this one, I'm not quite as impressed with but I figured I'd still sell them as a set. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of Aquarina, Souvenir of Aquarina. I, I tried Googling it and I couldn't even, I couldn't find anything. So I need to do some more research and figure out where those came from exactly. But those are probably something I throw up on like eBay because it's kind of like a real quirky, unique thing. I don't really see those for a live sale. And then for all my swan people, I found a swan planter. And this one reminds me of pistachio mint ice cream because it's a lovely chocolate brown with that minty green we love. Look at that. The inside's got the green drip glaze. Now this reminds me of um, the Blue Mountain Pottery, but it is not signed. It is just a red clay. I don't want to say it's redware because I'm not sure if this is modern or vintage, but this I'll put this in a live sale for sure. That's definitely something for a live sale. I just loved that brown and green, especially in the fall with some succulents in it. That's going to be really pretty. Let's see. And then the holidays are coming, people. And I'm a sucker for turkeys. So I picked up this giant orange turkey planter. Now, the Goodwill sticker was over the fabricator, and it is a modern made in China piece which means I will be listing this on my eBay unless someone else is interested. And it's a bit, it's probably like a good two, three pound turkey. So, you know, that'll take care of a lot of people. But I thought that'd be really, really pretty for the fall. So I am starting to pick up um, some holiday decor, trying to plan ahead because, you know, with the work season, you get busy and then I blink. Like I was planning to do a Christmas in July sale 
And I was thinking about that in February and I'm like, it is already like June <laughs> and I have to go through everything still. It sneaks up on you. Now this is the fabulous bag of cats I got. I got the whole bag for $10. So we're going to go through that last. So hang in there with me. And then I've started to pick up purses for my eBay. I am a huge Betsy Johnson fan. Now this is too tiny for me, but this is a lovely condition mini Betsy Johnson striped purse. So that is something I'm going to be putting on auction on my eBay. Definitely. It's a cute little clutch, maybe like a good for kids, smaller size, but, or a little evening purse. I liked the little bumblebee. I thought the bumblebee was cute. Can you guys see that? I can't tell if the glare is letting me see. Right here, there's like a bumblebee and it says XO Betsy and it's got little rhinestones on it. Hmm. And then I'm, you may have noticed I'm a cat person, just saying. So I picked up this Laurel Birch because the name, I remember the name and I think I have stamps from her, but it's like one of her vintage carpet bag cat purses. It was in great condition. It's got that braided top, but what's nice is they didn't continue the braid down because that sometimes can, you know, wear on your arm when you're wearing it, but it's in nice condition, no issues. So that's another item for my eBay. I've been picking up purses for eBay just to give it a try, something different. I love that I can branch out like that. So if like the hard goods are slim pickings one day, I can go ahead and look at purses or I still don't think I'm going to dabble in clothes yet though. That's the one thing I'm not, I'm not too keen on. <clears throat> and then again, Thanksgiving time. So this is a set of eight vintage ceramic, I'd say 70s home pieces, drip glaze napkin rings with turkeys. This is definitely an Etsy item. I'm going to get that up as soon as I can. Um, one or two of them do have a little chipping, like this one has a little chip that's been repaired. They've probably been, you know, knocked around for years. But there's eight of these, and like I said, with the holidays coming, I want to start filling my Etsy with holiday stuff, so I am ahead of the schedule this year instead of rushing at the end of the year. So I got eight of those. This night was a little bit of a holiday decor night. It was a bit of a holiday decor night, and the reason I say that it's because I also got this, guys. I am keeping this for me because I do not have any ceramic Christmas trees. Um, I did just find one large one, and now I will have this little guy. He is all solid, one piece. Um, the bulb is in the base. He does have a chip there, and it is missing one, two, three. It's missing four bulbs, but... I just thought this was really nicely painted. It does have a little chip there for me to touch up. And I like that it had the hole for the star. My other one does not have the hole for the star. And I think this was only, this was only $10, guys. So I was really, really excited to find this for $10. My other one, I think I found the big one for $30. I did go back to Google recently, and they had a big one that did not have its base, did not have its light, and now they're priced at $50. So I think I just happened to hit it right right after Easter. People were donating some holiday stuff. And I think this one's just beautifully painted. And it is a smaller one. It's probably like a 12 inch. So that's gonna go in my Christmas decor and I'm sure you'll see it behind me come this Christmas time. I gotta get some cords though so I can light stuff up behind me because that'd be cute to have like the trees lit up behind me for you guys. And then I got a little bag of blue and white figurines. Now these remind me of the made in China pieces that are blue and white. They look a little Delft blue, but they are not Delft blue. They are China pieces. And I decided to just pick up the whole bag because why not? They only wanted, they only wanted $3 for the whole bag. And I think only one of them was broken. And of course it's the cat, but I might be able to glue its tail back on because it is not a bad break. Okay. So I don't know anything about these guys. So here is the first one. It's just a little blue and white snail. And I'm thinking I might put these in a lot on eBay and auction them. I think that that's probably the best way to do this. Rather than taking the time to try to break up every single one of these little guys, 
I think this would be perfect for someone looking to start a blue and white collection. I think the fish is my favorite though. Look at the little face on him. I tried sitting my camera back a little bit this time, guys, because I felt like I was like right up in everyone's face, but it might be a little too far. I feel like I'm reaching. There we go. There we go. That's a little easier on me. And then, of course, we have the elephant. I might have to keep the elephant because, you know, I love some elephants. And they don't have markings. They're just a little porcelain. And so here are two of the kitty cats. This one's playing with a ball. This one's sleeping. And then, sadly, this is the one that's lost its tail, but I do feel I can fix that. I have some really good super glue that's for ceramics, and I think I can get that back on there. I'm hoping. So we will try that. And then... There's a little dachshund, guys. So like I said, I'm going to put this in a lot. There's two birds. I'm going to put this in a lot on eBay and just lot them rather than, because, you know, like trying to photograph each little one and list it. So if you're interested in those, check my eBay. If you don't see them yet, let me know. I may not have posted them yet. You can always feel free to email me guys if there's anything you're interested in and I will let you know if it's already been in a live sale, if it's sold already, or if it's listed online. I don't have a particular order of what the best place is to you know. I would say make sure you're following me on Instagram because every time I post stuff on Instagram, I post new items. I try to post every single day at least three new items. And then a couple times a week on Instagram, I try to post, hey, this is what's new in my shop. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because that will always be the most current of what I have. So just if you're wondering. And then, I know everyone loves these. Now it's not going to open for me because I'm live. Well, oh, it's not opening because I have it taped. That would be why it's not opening. It does open. And I have another one of these, which is why I numbered it. So in my SKU inventory, I know what I have. But this is just one of those... Um, you can put coffee cups on it. You can hang your plants from it, like little succulents in pots. Uh, use it at the holidays to hang ornaments. You could turn it like Christmas tree style. You could paint it green, turn it Christmas tree style, and hang ornaments on it and have a tree on your wall too. Just saying. So this one, I think I might put this in a live sale. That seems like a live sale thing. Oops, sorry guys. And now we have my last item which is going to be good because it is this giant bag of cats I got for $10 and I'm pretty sure I saw a Viking glass, blown glass cat in here. So I'm going to try to open this very carefully and see what we got. So this first piece looks like it had a stopper glued on it. It has a stopper. I think this is one of those centers where you could put like um, powders in it and then the smell comes out like potpourri. Look how beautiful that is. Now these, since they're smaller, probably the majorities will end up in live sales if you're interested in the kitty cats. And this has a cork on the bottom too. Avon All Rights Reserve, created exclusively for Avon Taiwan. And it's got, it's got holes on the sides. So are these like little potpourri things, guys? Look how cute that is. So if I have at least 10 good cats, that's at least a dollar a cat, which I think is not bad. And I'm a cat person, so some of these may end up in my collection. Oh, this one's pretty. Made in Taiwan. It's a little kitty and mouse sleeping together. We love our kitty cats, that's adorable. And then we have, I keep finding these guys, and I don't know much about them, Stone Critter Littles. Cat, long hair, Himalayan, you made in the USA. I think there's some chipping on the ear, though. Let me know if you guys have heard of these, because I'm starting to see these more and more, and I don't know much about them. So let me know if you've, if you've got the info on them. And here's another one. So there's a set of two of those, at least. So I could lot those together, but they do have some damage. And then this one has like a long name I can't even read. 
Sandy cast, the original Sandy cast sculpture has been hand cast and hand painted in San Diego, California, 1988. Chopstick is the name. So there was a set of Siamese cats that had been hand painted. That's kind of cool. And then this guy's neat, and I think he has some friends in here. Oh, they're shakers. <gasps> oh, Bone China Taiwan. Look at the Siamese cat shakers, guys. Those are something I'd probably put in a live sale for sure. Those are really neat. So already, I'm very happy with the $10. Now, this is a set of plastic cats. And I see we've got the mama. And we've got two babies so far. And they're like plastic Hong Kong. So let me know what you think, guys. Should I put the cats in the live sale? If not, I can just stick them up on my, my Etsy. Oh, that's a shame. This one's chipped, too. These little stone critters have some chipping damage, but that's cute, too. That's a shame. I see that. There we go. Here it is, guys. Here is the beauty. Oh, Pilgrim Glass. So this is a perfect condition hand-blown pilgrim glass green olive cat now although i could sell this and cover the cost of the bag i have started my own little mini glass collection whatever will fit on that shelf and i don't really have green and since i have cats i think i'm going to keep this one for a while for me pilgrim and i love that it has its original label on it that is very cool and it's got this beautiful olive lime green that goes through it. We've got a few more in here. This is just a ceramic, little ceramic kitty cat laying down. That's good live sale material. And of course it wouldn't be a bag without Avon. Cotillion Cologne Avon. But look at the eyes on that cat. I. I was so excited. I'm not gonna lie, I was excited to find a bag of cats because I'm not the crazy cat lady, but I love me my kitty cats. So, and if there's any tuxedos in here, souvenir of Cherokee, North Carolina, genuine bone china, Taiwan. So it's just a little bone china kitty. And we've got three more. Oh, this is cute. Another little Taiwan look. He's just making a phone call. And then this has got to be Precious Moments. Mm, I don't know. 19, oh no, it's a Nesco. 1982 Jonathan and David something. A Nesco Imports. He needs a little bit of, look at how cute. So you may see some cats popping up in my upcoming live sales, guys. And then I'm not sure what to do about all these like sand art guys and bone china ones. Oh, they had this hanging, apparently because they've, pr they've got some good damage on them. So let me know what you think I can do with these. I don't know if people will still like them as is because they're sand art. So out of that bag, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sets of cats. So one, two, three, four, There were 21 cats, so each one of these are pretty much 50 cents. So when you can find things like that, I love buying bags. Because like I said, like this one I'll be keeping for me. And then I have to, these will probably, um, depending, will probably end up redonated because they do have damage. There is a local um, thrift store that has saved the animals. And um, I may donate some of the cats to them. We'll see. So that um, they can resell them and earn money for the local animals. But I think we did pretty good, guys. We got ourselves a Christmas tree. And we got ourselves my first piece of pilgrim glass. I got some little kitties. And I think it was a pretty good haul. So I appreciate you watching this video. If you like it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back with you soon.